Did you order a plate of Danbun Kaza or chicken floss? Because your order is ready. <laughs> hey, beautiful people. You are very welcome back to the Nikki O'Leary Cooks YouTube channel. And today we'll be delving into the making of Danbun Kaza or Danbun Nama or chicken floss, whatever you call it. Let's get right into this. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is to boil our meat. Now, it doesn't have, you don't have to use um, chicken. You actually do not have to use chicken. You can use beef as well. But it does have to be ch chicken to be called kaza. Nama is um, beef, which is actually the most popular here in Nigeria. Dambun, dambun nama, that is beef floss. But this is dambun kaza. So here I'm just using chicken thighs. You can use whatever part of the, um, the chicken you like or whatever part you have. But you just have to make sure that you're using only the muscles. That is only the meat part, the meaty part of the chicken. So it's better to use a part that has a lot of meat or a lot of because you have to remove that flesh. That I mean that skin part. Next, I'm just going to add in some minced garlic, some minced ginger. I'm just going to add in some, I add, these are my aromatics here. Then I'm adding in some more seasonings like my bouillon cube. I'm also add, going to add in some turmeric, some curry powder, some thyme. Just, you know, you can, you can, you can, here you can actually adjust it as you wish. Here we're just, it's, it's just like, it's just like you want to make, you know, a regular meat stock. We're also going to be adding some sazon seasoning, chili powder, and salt. If you're wondering what sazon seasoning is, it's just a mixture of herbs. Um, you can, you can, you know, you can, you, you can just leave it with thyme or any other herbs that you have. Next, I'm adding in meat stock. If you do not have meat stock, you can use water instead. But um, the meat stock just tends to add a lot more flavor to it. Next, we just cook. Next, we cook the chicken till it is very, very, very tender. Like you need. In fact, I checked it here. It wasn't that tender, so I left it alone to cook for a little bit because we need that chicken to be really, 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 really tender. If you are not getting enough, or if um, if it's if it's if it's if it's still hard and the water is reduced. You can add more water okay so when it is you know when it is soft enough you begin the long process of shredding it so first of all you need to make sure that you are using a non-stick pan if not this thing will burn and we also we are also going to be removing the bones basically what I did here is that because you can still see some you know some meat on the bones so I took out the bones, I removed them, I removed the, the, the meat, then I placed it back into the pot. Now, this is the major part. The water has reduced, and all the water has even completely evaporated, and we're shredding the chicken. You can use a fork to shred the chicken. If maybe your plastic spoon or your wooden spoon isn't given the result, result you want but you just have to be careful not to scrape your non-stick pan in fact if you're not sure this will end well with the fork just don't use it at all and just be and just continue you know turning it and scraping it after a while you start to notice that it, be, if it begins to develop a very deep brown um, color it starts to become really dry maybe even crispy you can continue, you know, you can continue turning it or breaking it if you want to achieve a more finer texture. But trust me, after at this point, you get tired. <laughs> but if you can't go on, please by all means do that. But at this point, I was tired and I was actually really, really okay with the results. And as I say many times, that is all. Very easy. It could take a little bit of time, but with patience, you'll get your results. And very, very, very delicious. Like, it's really addictive. <laughs> it's really, really addictive. 
so that's all guys please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel check my channel for more videos let me know what you want to see and i'll see you next time